This is Twit. Speaking of, uh, this is sort of apropos, actually, this, this ransomware attack, the Mirai botnet is alive and well and more scary and capable than ever. Um, we'll remember that the that is considered an IoT malware. It broke the DDoS attack size record in 2016 when it was used to attack Brian Krebs, forcing him to, to like off the net. Uh, also, the French web host o, uh, OVH was uh, attacked, and then all, and then most famously, the DNS provider Dyn DNS was forced off the net. And of course, because the, the D, we all depend upon DNS to varying degrees, that caused a ripple effect and all kinds of other sites disappeared as their DNS expired and it couldn't get refreshed from the from their, their from their assigned DNS provider that was in this case Dyn DNS. So Mirai has been updated to target a new crop of devices, including two, which are often found inside enterprise networks, where, as we know, bandwidth is often more plentiful than it is on consumer IoT networks. Mirai now knows how to infect webcams, routers, DVRs, as well as many other internet-connected devices, which typically ship with default credentials, as we know, and typically they're running never updated and thus woefully outdated versions of Linux. Yesterday morning, Palo Alto Networks Unit 42, I love it that they called their, some, their selves the Unit 42, where they posted uh, news of a new Mirai titled New Mirai variant targets enterprise wireless presentation and display systems. So I've edited this down a bit for length and clarity, but they basically wrote the Mirai variant that Unit 42 discovered is notable for targeting different embedded devices like routers, network storage devices, network video recorders, and IP cameras using numerous exploits against them, specifically Unit 42 found this new variant targeting We Present WIPG1000 wireless presentation systems and LG's SuperSign TVs. They wrote, both these devices are intended for use by businesses. This development indicates to us a potential shift to using Mirai to target enterprises. Attack code exploiting a we present command injection vulnerability was published in 2017, while a remote code in, uh, execution exploit for the LG SuperSign TVs has been available since last September. After being packaged into this new Mirai variant, the exploits become much more likely than previously to actively be used to compromise their vulnerable devices. And this is not the first time Mirai has been aimed at enterprise networks. Last September, Palo Alto Networks reported that Mirai was found targeting the same Apache Struts vulnerability that hackers exploited to breach Equifax. So in addition to this newer targeting, this new Mirai variant incorporates 11 new exploits in its multi-exploit kit the new, uh, and has four sets of new credentials used in brute forcing device sign-on. So Mirai is still alive and well. Uh, it had 16 previous, previously seen exploits. It added 11. So it's gotten way more competent and it is still out there scanning the internet looking for new victims and unfortunately finding them. Um, it uses a, uh, uh, a, an HTTP flood to do uh, DDoS attacks and, uh, and, and it is a worm. So once it gets uh, a, a beachhead, it then starts scanning for other available devices, both inside and outside of its network. 
So, you know, doesn't look like the Internet is going to be getting rid of Mirai anytime soon. Uh, and we're just going to, you know, be stuck with this thing and it's going to be, uh, you know, causing more havoc.